Hello, my gorgeous. Welcome to the Divine Living Podcast. Ciao from Italia. Oh my goodness. I am in full-blown Italy glory. I am in Luca, staying at a friend's house, and she's showing me all around her beautiful territory. She's uh, well, actually she's South African, but she's lived in LA for decades and finally fulfilled her dream of living full time in Italy. So she's been coming over here you know, periodically and for six months at a time. And now this is the first year where it's going to be the full year. Her and her husband have made the official move. And I just thought it was inspiring on this Friday to take a look at your dreams and to dust them off if they've gotten dusty, to revive them if they've gotten a little bit flailing. And absolutely, absolutely, absolutely remember your dream is possible and not far off in the future, but way sooner if you are willing to activate spiritual principles versus man-made practicality probability. And I think that oftentimes what depresses us as women or what has us feeling anxiety is when we can't figure out how to be, do, and experience everything we desire. And everything can sound like a big deal. Sometimes it's when we can't experience paying our bills on time. Sometimes when, it's when we can't experience the level of freedom that we crave or the level of contribution that we desire or getting into you know, larger audiences and groups of people. And so today I just wanted to take a moment to remind you what is true, that what is true are the desires within you. What is false is any limiting belief that says you can't, it's going to be hard, it's going to take a long time. So consider this your masterclass in miracles. We're just opening up to the miraculous today. We are letting go of the heavy and the hard and the should and the annoying and the all of the elements that are not naturally us and P.S. they are not naturally God. So just wanted to take a couple of big, luscious, generous breaths. <sighs> right, just let that heaviness, let the anxiety, let the fear go. <sighs> and I just want you to start by feeling good in your body. Like giving the, the energy and the space that you're in right now, just add some love, intend some love. Because it's love that's going to tap you into the infinite. It's love that's going to let the walls of obstruction dissolve. It's love that's going to get you breathing more freely and help you remember your true power and that truly all things are possible. It's love that's going to remind you, you don't have to be the one to do all the work and get all the things and make it all happen. So how about a big exhale on that one? Ah, <sighs> that's right. There you are, queen. Can already notice your belly softening as you breathe. You set that load down, that load you've been carrying that it was never yours. God didn't give it to you. You picked it up. Let's just get rid of the conditioning, get rid of the old thinking, get rid of the misery. And we do that by setting down all those outdated thoughts that are not true. Mm. All right, so let's pray. Ah. Hi, God. Us again. We are here seeking so much joy, pleasure, 
abundance, energy, and truth. We know in our minds that with you, all things are possible. And today we open up our hearts so that we feel it, experience it, and believe it from our heart center. It is not enough to just know your ways, your truth, your promises even, the principles. It's not why you gave them to us. You gave them to us so that we would live a life filled with joy, gratitude, graciousness, anticipation of our good, expecting your miracles, and so letting the daily dazzle of being dazzled by you on a daily basis be our new normal. You have given us desires and they are in our hearts. And for some of us, they're on the front burner. And for others of us, they've gotten pushed way, 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 way down or way, 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 way back burner. And the only reason we've done that is because we forgot to believe. We forgot to believe in truth and instead we believed the lies. We forgot to believe in your unlimited power and instead we believed that other people said it would be hard or that it wouldn't happen at all. We forgot to believe that today we can experience a miracle by opening up to you and being connected with you and being the vibrational match of the miracle and the desire that we seek rather than any other thought. So we thank you with gratitude for this alignment in this moment. We choose to not just know, but be the vibration that all things are possible. That the desires in every woman's heart listening right now, they are possible and not one day in the future, but they are possible now. So we claim them now and today. And we declare with power, love and authority that we will experience the miracles that you have promised us today. And we will continue to do so by living in your promises, that your yoke is easy and your burden is light, that seek first the kingdom of heaven that we know is within us and all of these things will be added unto us. Delight yourself in the Lord and you will give us the desires of our hearts. We feel this in this moment as already done, and we thank you for it. Amen. All right, my darling. So if my energy feels a little sedated, I don't think is quite the right word, but a little uh, serene, it's because the Italian lifestyle, I've only been here, what did I, I don't know, what day is today? This is Friday. I got here Wednesday. The Italian lifestyle has already full-blown set in like I am getting up later in the day I go for a lunch I came back I took a nap I'm like the Italians right it's just it's such a good way to live and I see it very spiritually aligned that when we live with this lightness this gentleness we don't have to be working all the time to draw to us and use our time more efficiently by being in spiritual principle. You know, there's so much work that I don't know about you, but it sucks the life out of me. All the marketing, all the, the pushing, all the selling, all the launching, all the, 
natter, scatter, chatter, blah, blah, blah of internet marketing. And I've had to really check myself over, over the years because, you know, it's, it's not all bad, P.S. You, you and I do have access to the global marketplace. So it's about us really finding the way in which we are meant to use it. And I've just noticed, you know, I am, um, you know, I just wrote a number of emails that if you're on my list, you're probably going to be getting this weekend. And some of them are really cool. You're going to have some like binge worthy videos to be watching or listening to on your walk. There's a lot of really great content in there. There's some behind the scenes pictures of me in Italy. But the point is, um, I'm in a, I guess you can call it, I'm in a launch right now. And my next Own Your Throne class starts on Tuesday, October 4th, which I'm obsessed with the class and you can click on the link in the show notes to check that, that out and look at I've been available for the launches I've done the launches I've gotten good at the bullet points and the copy and the text and the systems and the segmenting the the mailers and all of that stuff and I just I'm just not interested in it anymore like it's like what I'm obsessed with is the content of what I'm teaching, you know, the downloads that are coming through of Own Your Throne, which is why I want to give you the, the free content that's, that is coming out in these mailers this weekend. But like the my old association with got to launch and got to do this and got to work really hard and got to push and got to get the numbers. Like if it's, if it's just me, God and the Holy Spirit there on Tuesday, which it's not because I know a number of you have registered and I'm really looking forward to being with you. But the point is I got myself into a space where I'm only going to do what I desire to do or I'm not going to do it. And it's been really interesting. So this, cause it also launches, they take this kind of focus, right? So it's like, if I'm gonna really focus on getting the word out about all the benefits about own your throne and what you're gonna learn in there, like that's where the, the, the focus goes from social media to even this podcast to um, some of the, the, the free online experiences I hosted this week. And yet like you, I've got other things going on in my life. I'm a brand ambassador for this vegan collagen skincare line. And I have this super high-end mastermind that I'm really, really delighted to be welcoming women into. But there would seemingly be no time for the other stuff when this quote unquote takes off. And that was the old mentality that I used to have, but not now, because now, I'm working in the spiritual realm in such a different way. I'm applying a higher level of consciousness. I'm applying a higher level of self-worth. I'm applying a greater level of faith in actual tangible results as I go about my day. So my day has involved sleeping in, in Italy, having an espresso, having a conversation with my girlfriend, um, I did take a shower. That's always a bonus. What else did I do today? I'm, I think I checked emails, but didn't answer anything. Went to lunch, came back, took a nap. Oh, oh yeah, I did do something. So um, the, the point of what I want to bring up here is things are coming to me. So there was some, um, uh, what do I want to say? There was some enrolling that I wanted to do with the brand ambassador skincare line. And I didn't think that I had the time to do it. But I went into meditation and I did some of the practices that I teach in Own Your Throne about raising your self-esteem and raising your perception of yourself, expecting more, some of these types of things. And literally, I looked down at my texts and the people that I needed the time to go and call and reach out to and all that, incoming, incoming about joining me with the being the brand ambassador for my vegan collagen skincare line and the drinkable liquid collagen. Then I was just thinking about the mastermind and I was like, all right. And I did the practices that I teach in Own Your Throne. I was like, I don't have time for the Own Your Throne mastermind. I'm focused on the virtual class right now. Look down, incoming in the texts. The point is today, people have signed up and bought the collagen products. People have signed up and bought the mastermind 
all without me having to go and chase. While I took a nap, while I, you know, I ha then had time for phone calls, had time to be with my girlfriend, have time to travel in Italy, I'm going to have time for a beautiful dinner. And this is what I want for all of us. I'm not accomplishing any less. I have a vibrant class that's starting on Tuesday. And if you haven't registered yet, I do hope you'll join us because this way of being and living is what every woman deserves in her life. I've got the man of my dreams. I'm living the lifestyle of my dreams. I have consistent financial relaxation because I have passive residual income coming in. I've got consistent money coming in. I've got my messaging and clarity down. I'm obsessed with the content that I'm teaching. I'm filled up in a passionate way. I'm not working all the time. Like this is what I used to dream of. And it's not magic and I'm not lucky and I'm not special. I'm actually, the only thing I am doing that really does take some and faith as I'm going against the grain of the entrepreneurial hustle culture, got to work all the time, take the bull by the horns, no pain, no gain, that I'm not doing. And it took a lot of heart and a lot of faith for me to reach into, is this spiritual stuff really going to work? And there is about a year and a half of me shifting gears from being a nuts and bolts business coach to really deeply going into God, there's got to be a different way. And I feel blessed enough to know the scriptures and the spiritual teachings because I did grow up with it. I think I kind of sequestered it a bit also. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I know that and I live by that, but not with my career. Like my career, I've got, I've got to be in charge and I got to do all the things that everyone else says that I've got to do. And I'm here to say at this moment in time, I do what the Holy Spirit tells me to do. And the voice is clear and the voice is simple and the voice is profound. And I am literally daily becoming this greater magnet of drawing and attracting ideal clients and my good to me. Money is coming in. That was like the, probably the biggest thing I was worried about. It was like, can I actually make money talking about spirituality? Is this stuff really going to work? You know, I'm, I'm used to business functioning at a certain level that it is. And I'm just outing myself. Like I got concerned. I was like, am I going to actually be able to talk about the subjects that I love and still be financially supported? And if you are in this, like, thinking that you have to do things that you don't like, or, you know, where's your money going to come from? Or what are you even meant for in the first place? Please come join us. Please give your soul and your destiny this gift of being in the Own Your Throne virtual experience that starts on Tuesday, October 4th. It's a 10-week course where I'm going to bring you through all of the behind the scenes, the inner work that I do to literally and tangibly manifest all of my desires. Now, I'm also not, please don't think I'm putting myself on a pedestal that I have arrived. I have additional and other desires that I have not yet manifested yet. And I am using the principles that I teach in Own Your Throne about getting rid of old toxic beliefs, behaviors, mentality, not good enough, um, just feeling like it's gonna take so hard, like it's never gonna happen for you. We have been looking at the wrong thing as source. And in this program, I get you into aligning so deeply with source and changing your thinking that changes your feelings, that changes your behaviors, that then changes what is actually manifested in your life. When you change your consciousness, you change what you manifest. And this class is a complete vortex of everything that you're going to be changing in your consciousness that over 20 years of what I've studied, what we women must change here, actually, I wasn't even going to do this, but I'm going to go and I'm going to talk about the different subjects that you're going to learn because this, this is what we get to, this is what we get to do. We get to fall in love with our lives. That's what I do in week one, fall in love with your life and declare your non-negotiable desires. When we're in this space of like, 
I am like a non-negotiable desire means there's nothing to negotiate with. And too often women are negotiating with like, well, it's like, it's okay if I don't call my soulmate in now, or it's okay if I don't um, live in the house of my dreams, or it's okay if I'm not making the money that I really need or deserve, or that I'm around the people that I really want to be around. Like, it, it's okay. Like I'll settle for a little bit. Mm -mm. Week two, we're going to master the skill of self-permission. So you never doubt yourself again. Self-permission. So often why I didn't manifest what I desired in my life is because I did not give myself permission to be that woman. I gave myself permission to be the woman who was overworking, under earning, sitting in the sidelines, could have some or this much, but not that much. I did not give myself permission. This is how you change your consciousness. So I'll be going deep into that. Week three, how to become untriggerable. Can you imagine all the things that annoy you, frustrate you, have you go into rage, fear, any of it to actually be a woman who gave herself the gift of becoming untriggerable? I'm going to show you how to change your, your, the, your brain chemistry. I'm going to show you how to change the, the, the feelings in your body. Your, your brain isn't even going to think about going into the those triggers again and totally eliminate self-sabotage. Do you see why I'm obsessed with this content? Week four, because for those of you that know about the book of Esther, for such a time as this, what are you meant for? She lived this epic, legendary life that was not a perfect life, but she lived a life worthy of a legend. And so that is what you are meant for. We talked about that in week four. Week five, get great at receiving. Hallelujah. Yes. That's get great at receiving and serving by making spirituality your superpower. The only thing that's missing from you and your manifestation and me and my manifestation is that we aren't actually open to receiving it. I know it's annoying to even think about it, but we're going to change that all up in week five. Week six, wake up to your truth by accessing your intuition. We all know how much louder and clearer we need these intuitions to be. And there's practices they'll teach you around that. Week seven, the courage to communicate like a queen. This has changed everything in my life. I've gone from total toxicity with clients, team members, people around me, family members, to speak the truth in love changed everything week eight rewrite the hidden subconscious contracts that ruin your life kind of obvious there this is what's holding us back completely when you rewrite that week nine strengthen your self-worth and live your unique purpose with confidence and week 10 live your legendary life using the feminine art of manifesting so if you click on the link in the show notes or go to divineliving.com forward slash own your throne, you can get yourself registered. You'll get into the Facebook group. You'll meet all the, all the other cool women who are already signed up. You're going to get my A-list accelerator that's going to prepare you for the course, this. And then you're going to you're going to be writing in to me and you're going to be telling me, oh my gosh, Gina, like the other women in the program that have like, I made an additional 8K. I got invited to speak on the big stages. I, I got an investor in my company. Like when we change our energy and our essence and our belief system and where we are looking to as source and at the, how, the level that we are holding our own self-esteem at, it is, is what either keeps us from our desires or draws our desires to us. So come be the magnet with me. Come let your life get so great that you are living the lifestyle. You're taking the trips. You have the financial flow. You have the freedom to think about something different than the financial pressure. You know, this course isn't overtly like a money-making course. But when you change your consciousness, you can't not draw all abundance to you. And this is why we see testimonial after testimonial. And I'm seeing it in my own life. You're going to change your wealth consciousness. It's of course going to change the, the money flowing to you. You know, I just today I've had these incoming calls come in. Like it's literally coming to me. And when before I used to go out and I chased it and I pound the pavement for it and I exerted and I, and I pushed and I pushed and I pushed and today is not that day. So if that day is meant to be different for you, come in and use this 
as the wealth consciousness transformation that you and I are going to use together. Like I said, I have dreams and desires that I intend to manifest between now and the end of the year. And it's going to take money that I don't currently have. But you know who does? God does. And because I've changed my consciousness, I'm not worried about it. I'm actively through this course doing it with you to do the things that actually matter and not just spin your wheels. Because I did all the things that didn't matter. I did the Facebook ads and I did the funnels and I did all of the investing and, and all long hours and working weekends. And it, it doesn't matter how hard you work when your consciousness hasn't changed. So I come to you today with a lightness, a peace in my heart, total joy, complete belief and faith in you and what you're meant for and what God already desires to do in your life and mine. Let's do this together. All right, my love. So I hope this bit has been a blessing to you. If you feel aligned, come join me in the course. The links are there in the show notes. And I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday, October 4th. Mwah.